Um, in this in this video, Larry's very talkative today. In this video, Larry, what we're gonna show <laughs> that's great. That's awesome. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show how to create a CRUD based node red application that uh, we can get and store state. Okay? And so basically, here's my node red application, and it's actually very simple, but we're gonna walk over each one of these. Larry, that is disgusting. Why are you doing that, huh? So the first one, get state here, is basically we set it up as a post, and it's get state. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. And. Now you'll notice I, I do debug outputs on every node just so I can figure out what's going on when I'm developing, all right? So next what we're gonna do is when, they, when the load comes in, we're gonna take the key out of the load and set up a search string for our clouded database. Yeah, what's that? Thank you. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my God. All right, I'm the man, thank you. <laughs> Can we go on to the search now? All right, so then we come in and we set up the search. We use the, I'm just gonna use a basic index that I had set up, uh, which works off of key. And then it sends the output to out. So this means it's gonna use this right here, which is the uh, cloud in, which is a cloud in node for in. And this is the documentation that you would uh, use. So basically it outputs an array. It's an array of either zero elements or one element or more. All right, you, wow, you're just over there yapping away. Thank you. You got, you kicked that, you're, you got that one down, don't you? Okay, and then just we, we return it to the HTTP requester. So what I've done over here is I used REST console, which is a very cool utility. Um, this is my public URL, and I'm going to accept uh, JSON, and the content header type is JSON, and I'm going to basically pass in the key, and for Bob Belk too, there should be a record. So if I go ahead and post this, let's see what I get. 13. So this is the record and you'll notice that it's in an array. So if you want to do something with this, if I wanted to modify this now, I could come in and actually copy it up here and this will get into the store API soon. So since I have the revision number, I can now send this back in to our store state. Larry, you are loud. Why are you making that noise over there? What? Are you singing? Are you singing? Yeah? You want a lot of attention. You want a lot of attention today, don't you? So I can come in now and I can modify this and I can even put a new field in here and say new colon the value uh, or I can bump up the state to 14. It's gonna store the entire record. So we call store state application JSON and it's also a post. So let's see what it sends back. Okay, so it returns our object, um, but you're not meant to actually receive that or you're not, you're not meant to do anything with it. So let's go ahead and, and look at this now. Well, actually, since now that we, we did a, um, a store, let's do a get. So I'm gonna come back in here and I, this is where I would get it, and then I would take the results of this and then do an update. So get state, I'll post it. Oh, I had a uh, comma here. Okay, so now I just got it, and you can see that the updated values and even the new element are in there. So that worked. That worked, Larry. Usually when you do that sound, you want something. What do you want? What do you want? What are you saying over there? Okay, so let's just, let's just get through the store state function. 
So similar thing, it's store state. We're gonna work off of a post also. We're gonna switch in here and I might actually add some additional security since that URL is public. Uh, but basically, I look and see that if it has a key. If it has a key, we store it. If it doesn't, I return an error. So you can come in and um, uh, attempt to uh, store it, 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 and it goes directly to the database, and then we send it out. And if you'll notice, here's my debug going on right here. You know, key, Bob Bell. And you can match up these these names with with these names. So alter function, alter function, output, output. And it actually highlights in red as I move the mouse over it. So this is pretty cool. And this is all in uh, node red on Bluemix. So otherwise, it would send me an error. And the error function is just basically we're going to add an error property and send this to it. So And that sends it back. So if we come in here now and try to do a get key on just like Bob Bell, you can see that it comes back blank. Oh, because it didn't find anything. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry, we're down here. We have to try and store it. So let me try, let's try and store something. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this again. And Larry, Larry is just being really noisy, and he's making doing the video very difficult. Aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> so if I try to now store this without the key, oops, God. see Larry, you're messing me up. Uh, store state, post. That's not funny. Oh, check it. And here you go. So uh, no key property found in load, um, but it also did send you know the other values back uh, to me. And then of course it just returns it to the HTTP node. Same thing with the storage. So that's pretty much it. So I can come in here now and develop, you know, a pretty quick application, thank you, um, using, you know, Bluemix and Node-RED and, you know, use this REST console to basically uh, test it. So with that, yeah, what you say? With that, if you liked uh, the video, if you liked Larry interrupting me uh, still, uh, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to... Uh, uh, also, check out my blog and my Twitter. And thank you for watching. Okay, goodbye. Bye bye. Can you say? Can you say bye bye? I guess not.